What is up peeps, Darlene Winnie here and welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing things a little bit different. I am sitting down talking to you about a life update because I think it's been a while since I've done like a lifestyle, any type of life related things and let you know exactly what's going on in my life right now. So I just thought it was the perfect time for you guys to get an update. You guys will also see how I do my nails at home. I do them at home because, let's just be honest, getting your nails done every time just isn't it. It's too much money, so why not do it? If you're excited for this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and guys, I really want you to go and watch any of my weight loss videos that I have done. I have a whole playlist, so if you want to just go down a rabbit hole on things you can do for weight loss, I really suggest that you go and check it out because it's pretty good information. And I try to break it down for like beginners, so even if it's hard for you to understand some concepts, I try to break it down as easy as possible so that the regular person can understand it. And before I make this intro very, very long, let's just get right into it. Please don't judge me. I am still learning how to do acrylics at home. I think I pretty much nailed the filing part. It's just the acrylic part that I can't nail down. It's so freaking hard because you have to shape it before it dries. So that's what I'm struggling with right now. I apply it however I can and then I just keep filing and keep filing and keep filing until it gives me the look that I am going for. I'm trying my best here, okay? First, I'm gonna start off by filing my nails. And I have found that this allows everything to stick to the nail better. Okay, so my nails are pretty much prepped. I basically just filed them and I cut my nails short and I made sure that they were nice and sandy. This is what they're looking like. The next thing I do is I get some glue and then I already picked the sizes for my nails and all I'm gonna do is apply them. I wanted to wait until I'm doing the glue part to start chit-chatting because the filing makes too much noise. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just putting glue on my nail and then I also apply glue to the artificial nail. That way I can ensure that it's going to stick well. All right, so while I glue on the rest of my nails, let's get to talking. The first thing I wanna do is address the elephant in the room if you don't already know, yes, I am pregnant. I am very much showing now. That's the baby bump right there. <laughs> I've been pregnant for quite some time now. I think I'm like 23 weeks, going on 24. So I'm pretty much halfway, more than halfway there. How I found out, I, I this was a complete surprise. I was not expecting this at all. I had a mental breakdown <laughs> when I found out because I'm not ready. I, At the time when I found out, I was definitely not ready to have a second child. So I definitely cried. I had a meltdown, but eventually I got over it. With my first pregnancy, I kind of suspected it, but not with this one. This one was a complete surprise. I did not think I was pregnant at all. I didn't really have much symptoms other than I was extremely like overwhelmingly exhausted. I used to come home. At the time I was still cleaning houses because I used to clean houses. And I would come home and I would be so exhausted, like extremely exhausted. And I know my body pretty well. So when I was feeling this, I was like, there's something wrong with me. I know there's something wrong with me, but I, pregnancy never crossed my mind. And so the days went by, went on living my normal life. And one day I thought, what if I'm pregnant? And so I went to go buy a pregnancy test. I didn't even tell Dwight. I didn't even tell my mom. 
the first time I called my mom because I did suspect that I was pregnant. And this time I just said, there's no way I'm pregnant. I'm just going to take this test just to rule it out. And when I took the test, let me tell you. <laughs> you know, whenever you find out really early, like the line that forms on the test is very faint. Well, not this one. I could clearly see a line there. <laughs> And I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. I thought I was hallucinating or something. And I was like, there's no way. There's just no way. And at the time, I only had one pregnancy test. So I only took one. And you know, it's very uncommon for there to be false positives. So I said, I have to be pregnant. I have to get another test. So at that point, I was having a meltdown already because that kind of confirmed that I was pregnant. Just because there's not really any false positives. And so <laughs> I couldn't hold this in. As soon as Dwight got home, I ended up telling him he was very, he actually took it the opposite way that I took it. He was very calm. He, you could see a smile light up in his face as soon as I told him. He was very calm. He didn't really say much he was like and he told me later that he got like a sense of peace when I told him the, that news and I said are you okay like why are you why do you feel peace like what are you talking about I'm over here like having a whole meltdown and knowing that we're not ready for another child and you're over here telling me you had you have a sense of peace like I couldn't believe him, which it kind of made me feel good. At least one of us wasn't too stressed about it. That way it can balance the other person out. Um, but so that did make me feel a little bit better knowing that he, you know, he's a provider for our family. So if he has a sense of peace, okay, let me just follow along then. So there, there we have it. We, I knew I was pregnant and I scheduled my first prenatal appointment and Definitely confirmed that I was pregnant. Actually found out when I was eight weeks pregnant. So I was two months in. Like that was a long time. I think my first pregnancy, I was like four weeks in. So it was only a month. And with this one, like, you know, I did not suspect I was pregnant at all. And so now I'm 23 going on 24 weeks. And this pregnancy has, the first pregnancy was hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It was really, really hard on me, but this one is just on a different level. Like, I, f I feel things that I've never felt before. Like, I never knew what anxiety felt like. And I've had episodes of anxiety. I mean, I'm not sure if it's anxiety, but I think it is because of the way I feel. I feel extremely tired all of the time. And you know what? I didn't, I wasn't like... I wasn't having any nausea those first eight weeks. If I would have been vomiting, then I would have been like, oh my gosh, I think I'm pregnant. But I genuinely took that test just to rule it out, you know, because I was just feeling extremely tired. That was the only symptom I got. So anyways, we're pregnant. We are going to have a boy. And we didn't do any of the things that we did on our first pregnancy. We didn't do no gender reveal. We didn't do no baby shower. We are just, you know, smooth sailing through it. <laughs> well, Dwight is because obviously I'm not. I'm feeling all of the sickness all over the place. And I'm already over my first trimester and I still feel extremely nauseous. I'm still vomiting from time to time. So I have a feeling it's going to go on for the rest of the pregnancy. I'm going to do my other hand off camera because this is taking too long and then we'll continue talking. All of the fake nails are pretty much on and this is what they look like. And now I'm just going to start cutting them to my desired length. So I have this little cool tool right here. And I don't like them too short, but I don't like them too long either. Kind of a medium size, I would say. At this point, I'm actually pretty excited, but very nervous at the same time. Because I'm really scared of having to take care of two kids. Like, it really scares me. I already have a hard time with just my one child he has my hands pretty full so imagine two kids and you know I'm a first-time mom with my first child 
So having a second one is going to be a big change in my life and both of our lives actually. Let's just be honest, parents are always wishing for a specific gender, whether it's a boy or a girl. And since my very first child, I got exactly what I wanted, a boy, because I always wanted a boy first so that he could take care of whoever comes next, whether it's a girl or a boy. So I got my first wish. And my second one, I just wanted to be done with pregnancy, that's it, this is the last child I'm having, and I wanted a girl. I felt like our family would be well balanced, two boys and two girls. But we got ourselves another boy. And before I even found out the gender, I started to think, I honestly thought it was going to be a girl because this pregnancy has really been kicking my butt and it definitely felt completely different from my first pregnancy. So I definitely thought it was a girl. But before I even got the results of what gender we were going to have, I started to put myself in the shoes of having a family with two boys. And I was like, man, that's going to be so much fun. We can make them compete against each other in sports and everything, basically. And we don't have to buy new clothes because if we have another boy, we already have a lot of boy clothes. So before I even got the results, I was like, you know what? I'm genuinely, genuinely excited for either or. It really sounds cliche, but no, genuinely, I'm actually very excited to have another boy. Dwight is very excited too because now he has two boys that he can remember his childhood through. And we already picked out a name, which I'm not going to share until he comes into the world because I don't want anybody else stealing the name. So I'm going to keep that to myself until our child comes. And it will start with a D because all of our names start with a D. Darlene, Dwight, and Dwight Jr. And now our second child is going to have a name that starts with a D. I kind of want time to go slow <laughs> because I'm really not ready to take care of two kids. I'm genuinely scared. I'm being completely honest. I'm excited, but I'm also scared. Like, where's my time going to go to? Like, it's going to go to my kids and I got to put my my partner first as well. So where am I going to stand? <laughs> A lot of things that are going through my head. But you know, this is life. I always think that God never gives you something that you can't handle. So I always tell myself that when I have those thoughts of being scared. And that's that. So... We're having another little one added to our family. Everything's going well with the pregnancy. And we don't really have to prepare as much because only mentally, <laughs> but not really physically, like materialistically, because we basically have everything. We have everything for a boy. We have boy clothes. We did give some of our infant clothes away a long time ago before I even knew I was pregnant. So we do have to get a little bit of newborn clothes and um three to six months close but other than that we pretty much have everything and that's part of the reason why we're not doing no baby shower or anything i don't even have a registry so we're just winging it you know and that's that so moving on to something different as many of you don't know i had started a cleaning business about two years ago and I actually partnered with somebody and I just exited that a few months ago. It just wasn't going well. The business, I know for a fact the business will do good. If you take anything from this video, if you're an entrepreneur and you're thinking about opening up a business, please do it on your own. Or if you're going to get a partner, just do it with your husband because having another person, it disrupts your personal life. It disrupts everything that you have going on. All of your goals have to be the exact same if you do get a person that's outside of your marriage. Because if you get a person that just has a different lifestyle from you, has different goals, and you know, it's just not going to work out. And that's exactly what happened with me. And it just turned very toxic. And you know, everyone learns from their mistakes. I know I learned from my mistake. And it wasn't all negative. I did learn a lot of things about business. I guess the one thing that I do regret is not believing in myself because I would have never gotten into this partnership 
if I believed in myself. In the beginning, I believed that this my partner had more knowledge than I did in business. And maybe he did, but I could have learned a lot of things on my own. I could have experienced things on my own. I could have done it with Dwight and we could have taken this business to a different level because when you get into business, if you form a partnership with your significant other, you guys both have the exact same goals because you guys are within your family. So if you guys have family goals and financial goals, it all comes together and it's all basically the same thing. You guys both are trying to go in the same direction and have the same end goal. And that really helps. Versus if you get into a partnership with somebody outside of your marriage or outside of your, your um, love relationship, they have other goals, they have other aspirations, and they may not tell you. And business decisions are based on that. And it's just, it's just not a good thing. So if you just take anything from this video, get your spouse or your partner to be your business partner. And I would suggest for you guys to be married because if you guys are not married, other problems can come in. So I stopped cleaning houses and now I am a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> This is something very new for me because I have never stayed home. I've always done something. I've had a job. I've gone to college. So I've always been doing, proactively been doing something. And now I just focus on myself. I focus on our house. I focus on my child. I focus on Dwight. I make sure he's good. I feed my both kids. I call them my both kids. <laughs> I feed them. I wash clothes, all of the stay-at-home mom shenanigans, washing dishes, cleaning up, changing diapers, all of the things. Do I like it? I wouldn't say I love, love, love it, but I, but I don't hate it either. Like, it makes me feel good because I feel like everything just goes round and round because of me, if that makes sense. <laughs> so if I'm not functioning, everything falls down. Whether that's my husband going to work, um, obviously we don't have daycare because I take care of my child. And you know, when I was cleaning, um, Dwight Jr. was going to daycare and I just, it just didn't feel good. I had mom guilt every single day of dropping off my child at daycare, um, not being there for the milestones and things like that. So whenever I stopped cleaning, I just had a breath of fresh air. Now I get to experience every single day with my child. What I do, believe it or not, <laughs> people have different views on this, but my views will stand. Being a stay-at-home mom is not an easy task at all. Like, at least my husband can go to his job and he can check out after a long day and come home and eat and have a different environment. And me, I have the exact same environment every single day. And I get up. And I do the exact same thing. I have my child on a routine. He naps at the same time every day. And I really have to stay disciplined. I'm still working out. That's another thing. I'm going to do this off camera. And then I'll go on to the next thing. All right, so now that my nails have been filed to my desired length and shape, I am going to move on to the next step. And this is what they look like. The next thing I do is I apply this ASP bonder. My sister gifted me these. I think she got them from Amazon. They work pretty well. But as I was saying, yes, I am still working out. It's been hard, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been feeling extremely tired. There are days when I choose not to go and I'm genuinely not making excuses. I'm, my body is literally telling me not to go. Pregnancy is hard. So you know, I'm listening to my body. I'm eating what my body is asking me for. And just like my first pregnancy, I can't stop eating Mexican food. That's all I can really eat. I do eat some other things sometimes, but in reality, I can't stop eating Mexican food. It's the only thing that sounds appealing to me. I am going to start applying my acrylic, which is the hard part. So I have my brush here. I have my acrylic liquid in this little cup, and I am going to start applying. All right, I think I already started off wrong. They say it's all in the bead. If you get a good bead on the brush, you should be good to go. Even getting the bead off of the container is pretty hard for me. And sorry if you guys hear other noises. I did open the sliding doors because it started to get a little bit hot in here. 
if you hear birds or cars that might be why okay i don't think that one came out too bad i did do a prenatal workout and i have it posted on my channel if you're pregnant and you want to go and you're still lifting weights you should definitely check that out that's a prenatal workout with weights so if you're not doing weights you can probably do a workout with just body weight maybe you can ask your doctor what you can do but i know that if you're pregnant and if you wouldn't work out when you were not pregnant it's best not to work out when you're pregnant i don't know that's what i've been told so that's why i'm working out because i've been working out for a long time so it shouldn't be a problem with me working out during pregnancy i did though lose a lot of muscle which i was pretty disappointed in but you know the the woman's body is something that is very magical i really believe the woman's body is like art because my body has gone through so many things throughout the years pregnancy weight loss weight gain and it's doing its job and i just thank god that i haven't had any complications or with my first pregnancy i actually couldn't work out my doctor said it was best not to because i had some a tiny con it was it wasn't something that was like super alarming but um it was something that i wanted to make sure that i wouldn't escalate to something bigger um so i did i did refrain from working out in my first pregnancy but so far this pregnancy has even though it's been treating me bad with sickness and all that i've been feeling pretty okay to work out i haven't had anything or any suggestions from my doctor to stop she actually encouraged me to work out and i won't lie <laughs> i get the stares at the gym and people are judging me for working out but it's okay because you know everyone has their own thing going on and i'm just getting used to being stared at at this point so we're good on this side i swear this is so freaking hard man let me know in the comments down below if you do your own nails at home or if you go and get them done i should probably start trying gel i've heard that gel is easier to put on than acrylic because you don't have to, you're not on a time crunch with acrylic, you have to work fast because then it'll dry. But I heard with gel that doesn't happen. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm actually almost done with my first hand. I'll show you clo close up how I do it. Oh! This one came out really bad. I might have to redo this one, but it's already on there, so there's no more going back. It's okay, we're gonna fix it by filing. Filing is what saves my butt every time. This one's gonna need a lot of filing, I'll tell you that much. I can't really talk while I'm doing this because I gotta focus. I give props to nail techs, to any tech, brows or nails or massaging or anything like that. Those people are talented, man. And I am going to paint over my nails, so any imperfections that come out of this will be covered. Well, that doesn't look beautiful, but we're gonna fix it with filing. Now, I'm just going to do the other hand off camera because it's just going to take too long, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So this is what they're looking like. Don't judge them. Trust the process. It's going to look better once I file them up so i'm just gonna do my right hand off camera and then i'll be right back all right so now that the acrylic has been applied and dried i am now going to start filing so that they look sharp and i will also be using a nail drill for the clumpier nails that i have because some of them are a little bit fat looking because i applied too much acrylic and then i will be using a filing stick to just define it more and do the little details that I need to do.
Okay, so I'm finally finished with filing. That took so long. I think that took about an hour. I think I got them pretty decently. So now I'm going to be applying my bonder, base coat, the color, and the top coat. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the bonder. This will help my color stay longer. Now our living situation, I don't know if you all knew, but we started living in the Midwest right after college. And we're still here. I really don't like the Midwest because of the weather, but the area here is actually pretty safe. I think this is a perfect place to raise a family. It's pretty safe. The school system is good. There's pretty good doctors here. We'll probably stay here for a little longer. I'm not sure when exactly we will be moving. I know we do want to move, but we just haven't made that decision yet. I'm just going to cure the bonder for two minutes. The people here are so nice. I We love what we have going on with our social life, our gym life, our... I guess everything. The only thing that I hate about the Midwest is the damn weather. I hate the weather here. It's so freaking cold and I just cannot stand the cold. I'm from the south and it's pretty hot down there. So coming to the Midwest for me was a big change weather-wise. Um, that's the only really thing that I really don't like. But other than that, I feel like the Midwest is a pretty good place to raise a family. So I know we will end up staying here for a little longer. I don't know exactly when we will move, but I know it will happen. And maybe in the future, we'll just have like a house here and then we'll leave for the winter. I do see a lot of people actually doing that here. When I used to clean houses, we used to clean houses for people who would live here for the whole year. But during winter, they would leave someplace warmer. So that's a good idea. I feel like that's something we would want to do. I don't think we want to live the, leave the Midwest entirely. We do want to have something here, whether it's a business or maybe a house or some type of property. Uh, we do want to do that. So I know the Midwest will be with us for a little bit longer, maybe for forever. Okay, so that was two minutes. Now I'm going to apply the base coat. And we are living in an apartment right now, but I know that we eventually want to own a house. So hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. Our apartment is pretty small, but that's what fits our financial needs at the moment. And hopefully God blesses us with some more avenues and a little bit more financial freedom. I know I really want a house. And I know Dwight wants a house too, so hopefully we are able to do that. Career-wise, I'm starting to do things more online. I'm just trying whatever works for me. So I'm kind of experimenting at the moment. Just got a TikTok. So if you guys are interested in seeing some mom content, you should totally go check out my TikTok. I would appreciate the follow. I upload some funny videos on there. I don't see myself going back into the corporate world. I tried that for a little bit and you know, I got pregnant and then I had a business. So it just wasn't for me. I know me and Dwight have some plans. We have some business ideas that we want to accomplish and hopefully that happens, but I'm not exactly sure or 100% sure what is going to happen. We do have some goals. Um, some short-term and long-term goals. So we're totally going to try and achieve those. And Dwight is basically still working in the corporate world, which is what pays our bills at the moment. But hopefully he can step away from that soon because we definitely need to start whatever we need to start because we are about to enter our 30s. And that's basically our prime time in terms of like energy. We're, we're young, but we're getting a little bit older. So we really need to jump on the ball and see exactly what we're going to do in order for us to be able to get to where we want to get to. Now, children. I initially wanted a girl because if I had a girl, that's it. No more kids. I'm not having no more kids. We need to start our business ventures and all that. But now that we have a boy... I do have that itch of getting pregnant, not soon, but maybe a little bit in the future so that we can try for a girl because 
I really wanted to have a girl. I feel like that would be the that's the missing piece in our family. I feel like I definitely want to try for a girl, but I'm not too sure. I know Dwight is content with just two boys, so we'll see what happens. I don't know exactly. I still haven't made up my mind. I hope that we get our financial status better than it is now so we can make a better decision off of that. Okay, so in the next clips, I'm just going to be showing you what I am doing next. After I apply the base coat, I am now going to go into my color and I'm picking like a not so out there but very pretty color. It's by Kiss in the color Poison Apple. Alright you guys, well that concludes the end of my video. My camera did die so sorry for the random cut. I just put the top coat and then I did the exact same process on the other hand and I ended up finishing. That is basically the life update that I have for you guys. I will try to do more vlogs. I know I had been doing a lot of weight loss videos. Although those were really good videos, I probably should start doing more lifestyle videos. So you'll be seeing a lot more of that on my channel. And this is the final look for my nails. I would say they came out pretty decent, but I do need more practice. So hopefully I get better. I will be doing my nails more often now, now that I have the time. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't checked out any of my weight loss videos, I really recommend that you do. Maybe you'll learn a thing or two. As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.